You're going to want to start by plugging it into the Johnson thermostat. You hit the enter button. You'll see that the controller will come on and say off. You want to hold both buttons until the screen says busy. And then let go. It flashes up your DDC address. Next, you want to hit enter. Scroll to PRAM parameters. Check your flow set points real quick. See that we have 210. You can change the dial to adjust it real easily. Min is 90. Heating should be 90 on this box as well. The faster you turn the dial, the faster the numbers move and it kind of progressively jumps up. Enter to save, exit, supply area, 0.196. This is a six inch box, that's correct. Next one's your K and your damper position. You don't need to worry about those. Balance, supply, FLSP, flow set point, max, flow. That reads off your number. I've got the hood set up, it's just one grill. So we'll be able to uh, look at the evergreen for reference. We're going to wait till it settles out a little bit. So, things to do in 207, it's actually doing 127. It's a 210 design, so we're just going to take this dial. We're going to adjust that number down until we see what's on our total for our grills. Or in this case, it's just one grill, so we'll just lower it down to match that. Enter, enter again. It's gonna calculate the K factor for you. You'll wanna write this down or put it in your PDA. 2.273 is your K factor for this box. Enter. We're gonna adjust this back to flow set point. Well, looks like we lost the box flow set point. We're going to go to C max flow. This will be reading out our flow. It's going to climb back up to meet that 210 set point. You can see our calibration is pretty accurate so far. Let it settle down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and record 210 and 205. I think those numbers are good enough for me. Two tens my DDC, two oh five is my actual grill reading. Next we're gonna back out twice. Supply. We wanna go to flow set point again. We wanna change this to C min this time. Hit the inner button to see the flow. We're going to let it drive down to our minimum of 90 CFM. You can see the calibration is still holding pretty easily. I think I'm going to go with 88 and 87. That suits my needs just fine. And once you're done, just hit the uh, 
back, back, back until you get to your DVC address. Unplug.